again, Nan. And today's topic um, for yoga philosophy is the art of stopping. So oddly enough, when you go to your yoga class, you are physically moving, but the practice is the art of stopping. So when you come to yoga class, you kind of put a little pause on your day. Hopefully you don't have your phone out or anything like that uh, during class, but you put a pause in your day to make time to come home from to come home to yourself. Okay, that sounds kind of weird, but what that means is allowing all the external distractions, whether it be your phone, your coworkers, your relationships, to fade away so you have this space that's just for you. Um, and in today's world, it is just so easy to get caught up in the doing, okay? And getting caught up in the doing uh, in a way where you feel like it gives you value, okay? Um, and one of the mantras that I usually say in my classes especially if you're working on stopping, is that I am enough as I am. And there's nothing that I can do or not do to mess that value up, right? You're just inherently valuable. So when you come into the yoga practice, the yoga practice doesn't have to be in a yoga room, although it, that is a great container to practice the art of stopping, but it could be in the middle of a text, it could be in the middle of an email, and that stopping looks like a deep breath, one conscious deep breath, okay? And another way of stopping is when you get emotionally overwhelmed, okay? I know that I used to have, someone could do something and I would be instantly triggered and I'd have this like heat and where you practice the art of stopping or just the yoga, which is the art of stopping, is when you can pause in that heat and say, I invite this feeling without having to do anything about it. Okay, and then when that feeling pass and the oceans are kind of like calm again, that's the best time to talk to that person or take action, okay? Um, and let me just make sure that I got everything that I wanted to say. And, uh, oh, and in this world today, uh, we can just get pulled by all of our senses, okay? The minute the phone dings, you're like, okay, I need to respond, I need to look at it. Um, and so the practice would be, okay, give myself a one conscious deep breath before I even look at the phone, okay? Or not be so triggered when someone says something all right, to take a moment to rest and pause, all right? Um, and so going through our daily schedules, it could sometimes be in autopilot, okay? And then the part of the yoga is breaking up that autopilot and being fully there. Um, and sometimes even asking you a question, what am I doing, what am I doing? Okay, what am I doing? We could be in the middle of, I don't know, like maybe you're a smoker and you're smoking and it's just normal routine. In the middle of that, can you just take a moment and ask, what am I doing? Is this beneficial for me? Um, and that kind of really changes the course of your day or your life to have these fully awake and conscious moments of choice. Okay. And um, I just recently watched the, the recent Matrix, and a way to get out of the Matrix is the art of stopping, is to notice that you're in this loop, okay? And you're gonna break it up. And preventing that type of uh, habitual routine energy from dominating us and really practicing agency over what we feel or what we decide to do. Okay, and I think, um, oh, and this is one last important point that I will say before I end this, is the art of stopping and the, the yoga practice is giving yourself, yourself time to rest, okay? And one of those ways that can show up is in the yoga practice in the yoga studio. So say the teacher is like, okay, hey, um, we're gonna do the next pose or maybe they take, take a moment to just have you in Shavasana or just taking a moment to have you on your tummy. Really embrace that. 
learn to not overdo. Really just let yourself lay there, okay? Um, and then when you have a chance to be at home, don't feel guilty that you took a moment to rest or take a nap, okay? You have to think to yourself, I am doing this rest so I can be fully present for everyone else and they get to have the best part inside of me. And that's all for today. See you next time.